boy, it's so cold. I hope Eric's waiting for me with some hot chocolate. Hey, Jack, I saw what you did. Eric, are you outside? That was my wife's favorite plant, man. Eric, where are you? I'm in the doorbell. Door? Hey! There's a video camera in the doorbell, Jack. I've seen these before. How does it work? Why don't you come on in? I'll show you. Eric, I'm sorry about knocking over your plant. You want to see the scene of the crime here, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the video right here. There's oh, you. Oh, no. There's my plant. <laughs> so we've got the evidence right here. If you were trying to steal something from my front porch, I'd have it on tape. Why did you get it? Peace of mind, it's security. I can tell when my kids come home from school. Mm. If I have a package, I can see uh, when that was delivered. It's just a way to know what's happening on the front porch of my house. Are they very expensive? And most of them are around a couple hundred bucks. Um, okay. And that's not the only cost. If you buy one of these and install it, it's recording video. Those are big files and that needs to be stored somewhere. So most of the companies will charge you a subscription fee. Then you that, gotta add it to the budget. Exactly, that could be $5 a month on the low end. It might be $20 a month. Are there any more drawbacks? You know, if your power goes out and you don't have Wi-Fi, then it's not gonna work. Do you test these at Consumer Reports? Well, we found that there are big differences in video quality. I mean, you wanna know who or what is at your door. So we evaluate the cameras using unique scenes that our engineers design, and those expose weak spots in the cameras. You know, so we use different lighting situations. For example, good light, low light, zero light to test night vision. We also backlight subjects to see if the camera can pick up the object when it's in front of the light. So is this the same thing as a home security system? Well, yeah, basically. I mean, you could either have just the video doorbell all by itself, or you could use it as the core to a bigger system with cameras around the house, which actually is what I did. Oh. I can show you right here. There's the back of the house. Hey, there it is. Right? There's the garage, right? Mm hmm There's the nursery. Ah. Now, do you have to have it professionally installed? Installed it myself. It took me maybe 25 minutes. So was that easy to install, huh? If you have an existing doorbell, you can usually pop that off and connect the new uh, video doorbell right to the same wiring. And then you screw it onto the wall. And the physical installation for the cameras is no big deal at all. All you have to do is plug those into the wall. But if you don't want to hassle with the setup, there are some services that will do it for you. It's the app on your phone and the passwords the wi -Fi and all that setting. kind of stuff. So if you're good with that stuff, you would have no problem setting it up. Eric says beyond capturing video, some smart doorbells come with high-tech features like facial recognition, voice control, and what's called geofencing, which can turn the camera on and off as you come and go. All right, bye, Eric. You know, this is a kind of a cool gadget. See you later, Jack. Bye, take it easy. Sorry, again.